Hi there, it's Chris here from Technify Networks. The purpose of this video is to show you how to configure SSH on a Cisco IOS router. So I'm just going to get into action quickly and build up a topology that we're going to use for today's configuration. So I'm going to grab a router. I'm going to grab a switch. And I'm going to grab some clients let's say two pcs so and i'm gonna connect them all together i'm gonna put this here a season at zero Fast Ethernet 0 on the PC to the switch, Fast Ethernet 0 2. And I'm going to connect the PC to the router. Then I'm going to boot up the router quickly and assign an IP address to the router. So you might find this useful. Here is a list of configuration tasks that has to be followed in order for, for SSH to work. So I'm going to boot up my router. I'll go to the command prompt. And then I say no. So the router, I go enable. Then conf t, that's to configure the terminal, to go to the global configuration mode. And we've got gigabit Ethernet 00. zero. So I go to that interface, interface gigabit 00, IP address, say 192.168.10.1, I use 255.255.255.0, the slash 24, then I say no shutdown for that interface to come up. So the interface is up and is on green. So before I start the configuration on the router, I'm just going to go to my PCs quickly and assign IP address and default gateway on them so that they can communicate with the router before we can attempt to SSH after the configuration because there has to be connectivity. 192.128.10.1 and then let's start with a 5 here. Then the default gateway is dot one. So I'm just going to paste that and change that to dot one. Then I'm going to try to ping out my gateway from this PC quickly. 168.10.1. So that's successful. Then I'm going to go to the next PC, PC3. And go to desktop and assign an IP address. So we're going to use 6 for this 192.168.10.6. So yeah, that's it. Then the default gateway will be dot one ten dot one. So then I'm going to ping the default gateway as well from here. 192.168.10.1. So that's successful as well. So we have connectivity from the clients to the router, and then we're going to start the configuration on our Cisco IOS router. So from here, we need to configure the host name first. So let's say host name. Oh, I need to exit this prompt. I need to exit the interface prompt. So host name. So let's say R1 dash Technify. Yep. So that has changed. And now we need to configure the, the enable password as well. Let's say enable secret. Let's use Cisco for that. So now we need to configure the IP domain name to create a domain name for for this to use for SSH. So IP domain name, let's say Technify, 
networks dot com and then we can now yeah we need to create a username as well that we're gonna use to log into SSH so we say username and let's use Martin then password let's say class and then we need to generate crypto key an RSA key for the server for the SSH server both public and private key so we say crypto key generate RSA so he's asking and you can see he's going to use the r one technify dot technify networks dot com that's the name for the key the name for the key is, will be r1 slash technify dot technify networks dot com that's the name of the router and then the domain name that we just created so we're gonna use 2048 the lot the bigger the size of the key the more secure it is so and that is okay so now we would we would say yeah you can see the ssh version is version 1.99 so we're gonna say ip ssh we change the version to version 2 p ip ssh version 2 so now we're gonna go to the line vty 0 to 4 and we'll say transport input we want to permit only ssh transport input ssh and then we'll say login local that means to use the local database for the username and passwords and i think that should be that so we can try to ssh into that we from one of these pieces let's start with pc3 so we go to the command prompt let me make this wider a bit and then we'll say ssh dash l let me use capital l then we'll say martin is the username then ip address 192.168.10.1 and then it's asking for the password which we set as class so we can see we are now in the router from pc3 we are now connect with ssh to the router remotely so if i say enable it's gonna ask for the password which is cisco so yeah so now i can say show ssh so you can see we are currently logged in remotely as martin yeah there's a username martin and normally this should be two so it's, it's showing 1.99 but it's ssh version 2 so if you find this video helpful kindly give it thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel there'll be a lot more configuration videos coming your way okay take care have a good evening Bye.